Tussor is one of Russia's leading technical universities. Tussor may not have the status of research university, but it is one. The heavy growth in its research and a powerful scientific infrastructure enable Tussor to build a great world-class research and educational center capable of making an impact on Russia's innovative development. Really, Tussor has already become a de facto innovative research university. An educational scientific innovation complex has already been formed around the university, a belt of knowledge, intensive enterprise, and strategic partners for creating knowledge-driven products. As a rule, our scientific research ends with concrete developments, which can be used in production, and this is a precondition for the appearance of a whole range of knowledge-driven firms. Nowadays, Tussor has identified priority areas for development in order to move forward with certainty. Based on the experience of undertaking large-scale scientific research, research and development work, we have developed a program of scientific development for university existing for several priority research directions. Over just a few years, researchers at Tussor have made incredible progress in a rare area for Russia, the creation and production of monolithic integrated microwave circuits. In 2009, the university opened its nanotechnology research and educational center. The whole cycle of IC chips production was created here, from design to ready product. Expensive equipment has been bought with funds from a federal target program. For the production line class, 100 cleanroom has been created. Microwave chips are made by nanolithography method. The heart of the production line is the electro beam exposure with a resolution of 20 nanometers. Our dream has come true. Within the university, we can produce monolithic integrated circuits. Tussor has Russia's only wholly automated complex for probe measuring the parameters of microwave circuits. A probe station can measure the parameters of heterostructure and elements of chips to a frequency of up to 50 gigahertz. Designing mix take place in the design center. The group which is building its framework has existed in Tussor for over four years. It is thanks to their research that coming into being at the nano center was possible. An intelligent automated design system is real know-how. It enables the generation of microwave circuits and the topology of devices based on the principles of artificial intelligence. In Russia and abroad there is no such software. The research team has several projects that they are working on jointly with our Russian and foreign partners. Together within the Institute of Microwave Semiconductor Electronics of the Russian Academy of Science, we have developed a set of low-noise microwave amplifiers, which is the first in Russia. That was in 2008 and in 2009, together with the same institute, we developed Russia's first low-noise millimeter amplifier. All these devices were made for a wide range of applications where space communication, satellite communication, broadband internet, navigational systems such as GONASS, avionics and etc. Among the international projects, space communication system amplifier for French Space Agency and apparatus for a giant radio telescope in Holland. Nowadays, the issue of designing nanoelectronics is very pressing. In the world of designers and technologists, the ratio is 50 to 1. For each technologist, it is necessary to have 50 designers to download the equipment that exists today. In February 2010, a group of technologists and developers of the Research and Educational Center finished work on creating a heterosexual gallon arsenide transistor meeting world standards. It was made according to the most modern heterosexual technology and has a topological size of about 100 nanometers. Measurements show that the transistor has good parameters and can amplify signals within a frequency of up to 100 gigahertz and higher. The next step is to achieve repeatable accuracy in the process of place transistor technology in circulation. Then it will be possible to begin pilot production of the microwave integrated circuits based upon them. Research on optoelectronics and nanoprotonic is actively carried out at the university. One of the subjects of research is crystal and the other optical transparent material, in which it is possible to research the effects of interaction of light radiation which forms in particular ways ordinary diffraction structures which now, at the current time, belong to the class of photonic structures. 
Based upon this research, it is possible to create optical reconfigured elements of photonics. This is one of the key areas of development of optical technology. The principles of creation and the element base of optical and fiber optic communication systems are studied. Theoretical foundations are developed and experimental research is carried out in fiber structure, an electro-optic crystal, and collided solution containing nanoparticles. Such promising fields of optics as the generation of tegahertz radiation via nonlinear transformation of optical radiation in nonlinear crystal are also being researched. Researchers at TUSOR have gained unique scientific and technical results in the field of plasma emission electronics. Fundamental principles of the emission of charged particles from gas plasma have been proposed. Electro and ion beam guns with plasma emitters have been created based upon this research. This insulation enables receipt of powerful electron beams focused on a small space. Basically, this is certainly the technological aims connected with the modernization of modification of material properties. This includes electron beam bonding, ion implantation, plasma processing. This ends with the new, latest technology of material property modification. Technological lines equipped with electron beam guns exist in a range of Russian factories. The use of electronic sources in the development of materials enable the achievement of results which could not otherwise be achieved with any other instruments. A relatively new and wholly relevant direction being developed at TUSOR is the development of lighting technology based on LED light sources. The university's strategic partner in this area is the Tomsk Research Institute of Semiconductor Devices. It has been actively working for several years on the creation of lighting technology for various uses, from signal lighting technology to street lamps. Joint projects are being carried out as part of the energy efficiency and resource saving, a priority area of development. At the current time, we are buying light-emitting assemblies from abroad. They are not made yet in Russia. The Institute is currently working on the assembly of such light-emitting arrays based on imported crystals. TUSOR is developing power systems, heat elimination and control modules. There are already some results. A model lamp has been created based on RGB array without using luminous materials showing energy efficiency considerably higher than those of foreign assembly. As part of collaborative work with the Institute, we have developed a control module for three-color light emitting array. We are currently working on creating basic bearing construction, which will be a basis for making arrays. Now it is important to start the production for lamps from zero. To perfect the production of light emitting crystals themselves, a joint grant was won by the Tomsk Research Institute of Semiconductor Devices for the creation of high-tech production. Nowadays, in Russia, a roadmap for development has been put together for the light emitting sector. According to the project by Ras Nanotech, Tomsk should become one of the three centers of this new industry. A decision has been made taken on the building in Tomsk Technical Innovation Zone of a factory for the production of light emitting crystals and technology. We're six molecular beam epitaxy systems will be located. Since the very moment of its appearance in the university, the studying and design of various systems of radio location and radio navigation has been carried out. Questions of dissemination of waves in the radio frequency and acoustic range are studied. As part of the area, a research institute of radio engineering systems was established in Tussor. The main subject of research was carried out in the area of passive radio location of radio monitoring. Radio location systems are designed which are capable of providing good results with weak and distorted signals. Great mistakes are made when discovering objects while working out their characteristics. So our task is the research of these mistakes and optimization of systems in particular conditions of radio wave transmission. Throughout the whole world, the leadership of our university in the fundamentals of polarized radio location is recognized. At the basis of this research, new generation panoramic radars are created, in which methods of vector analysis of electromagnetic fields are used. The volume of work in creating radio technical systems for military aviation and space is growing. Wide-ranging research links have been established by us with space firms which engage in the development and production of various types of satellite, including Golnus system satellites. 
One of the recent space projects was monitoring systems of near the ground surface based on small size satellites. The concept of small space apparatus enables the size of production to be considerably reduced. 10 to 20 satellites can be launched into orbit at once. A low orbit allows accuracy to be raised in terms of determining coordinates and discovering weak sources of radiation. For example, we can trace satellite phones and determine their coordinates with great accuracy. A strategical partner of the university in the area of creating radio location and communication systems is the research and production company Micran. A joint grant was won for the development of serial production of microwave apparatus based on our own gallium arsenide element base. Production has been put into place for 70% of the radio relay equipment produced in Russia. Active, electronically scanned array modules have been developed along with elements and units of avionics for fifth generation airplanes. The equipment being developed in NISIS gives competition to such world leaders as NEC and Ericsson. Various systems of radio communications, means of television technology, and radiometric systems are under development at the university, and also different units of radio equipment. To the order of industrial enterprises, various types of ultra board band and short impulse amplifier transformer devices are being created. Periodically, every year we have approximately two to three orders for the development of some kind of unique amplifier which is not produced by industry. Questions of the electromagnetic compatibility of electronic devices are studied. A range of research was conducted on the raising of EMC onboard electric power systems. For the order of ESS Reshatnu Company, an apparatus and program complex was created for the analysis of the mutual effects of electric signals. Simulation was carried out on clients' printed circuit boards, proving experimentally the proposed methods. Nowadays, the largest producer of satellites in Russia is in dire need of research on electromagnetic compatibility. We have done some groundwork in this particular area, including methodological in terms of our own product and theoretical as well. The whole stock in this programming product was realized by us. As a result of carrying out experimental work on creating the complex, our researchers received three patents for the model. Huge experience in creating and implementing automated systems of information processing and control. Space-time geographic information systems are being developed for governmental agencies. Systems of monitoring and optimization of functioning for the engineering infrastructure of industrial enterprises. Programming complexes are being created for the solution of computing tasks with the assistance of parallel computing systems. With the basis of computing cluster, numeric modeling of physical processes carried out. Aerospace monitoring data is processed. Probing of the Earth's atmosphere along with the path of satellite is numerically modeled. Technical means and methods of information security are studied. Research is carried out in the area of complex information security of computing systems. Secure telecommunication systems are created along with the monitoring of networks for threat analysis. The modern element base and modern material enable the creation of entirely new devices for the transformation and distribution of electric energy. At the present time, power electronic devices, which were previously considered to be transistors and thyristors, are harmoniously combined with microprocessing technology. Thus, a new name was sprung, Intelligent Power Electronics. New methods of transforming the parameters of electric energy has been developed, based upon which power control devices with cardinally rebuilt power supply systems are created. The largest number of projects is connected with controlled industrial and transport electric drive. Systems for motorcars using electric tractions are being developed and produced. A power transformation regulated drive on electric transport can save up to 30% of energy. Transformation of energy using devices of intelligent power electronics is probably the only way that will enable the effective transformation of energy. We are therefore talking about energy and resource savings. Among the large energy saving projects is the creation of high energy efficiency zone based upon Tomsk water treatment plant.
Also, based on the means of power electronics are created devices for cleaning of electric mains for interference. A grant has been won for the development of compensators for reactive power and distortion power. Devices which enable the reduction of losses in electrical networks created by various energy consumers. Compensators, which should take its place in large and small energy and improve our electrical supply network at least to European standards. Research divisions of TUSOR undertake large orders in the area of automation of industrial enterprises. A large project is being realized in the area of complex reconstruction of asphalt concrete factories of Russia. Objects are completely equipped with electronics. Complete automation of the technology process is provided. Monitoring and regular measuring of recording and parameters is carried out. In fact, a robot factory is being created. We have won tenders and have already automated 58 factories over the past five years. Jointly with LSE, over 4,000 intelligent electric drives have been developed for the oil and gas industry. These inventions are the best in the world in terms of whole range of criteria. Research Institute of Automation of Electromechanics, Atusor, has been establishing ground-based complexes for pre-launch testing of satellite power systems for many years, and also control and measuring systems for thermal vacuum and thermal balance treatment of onboard special complex of its components. They enable the testing of satellites in conditions similar to those in space. The system enables automation of all measurements and control of various load simulators. Состав аппаратуры. As part of this apparatus, there are solar battery simulators and simulators of storage batteries. These are the products that are for the most part impossible to simulate on the ground. It is impossible to completely deploy a solar battery on the ground. It is difficult to test an apparatus with a storage battery. Such complexes enable the great speeding up of testing and launch of space apparatus. The main customers for the equipment are Energy Corporation, Space Rocket Center Progress, and ESS Rushnov Company. Delivery is carried out to the launching sites by Kornoy, Plesetsk, Swabodny, and NASA. In Russia, Tusor has no competitor in this area. Over the last three decades, Tom's complexes have tested and helped launch into space more than 1,000 satellites. High frequency heating installations created in Tusor are in great demand from different sectors of industry. The equipment is capable of producing such technical operations as heating before bending, thermal treatment of welds, heating before plastic deformation and hardening. The installations are used for Russian railroad, in energy sector, metal treatment, machine building and the oil and gas industry and chemical industry. Some units produced are unique with no equivalents on the market. The equipment is used in more than 11 countries and protected by 60 patents. In 2007, a special complex was developed for on-site thermal treatment of welded joints of rails. There is no other equipment as this in the world in terms of functional and mass and size indicators. Customers for the inventions are all over Russia and abroad. Around 80 different products are produced for different purposes. Many Tussauds inventions have excellent prospects in the market. The appearance of a whole area of science called innovation brought about an aim to wholly realize their potential. As part of this, technological transfer of research actively is studied alongside management process for creating knowledge-driven production. The results of the research in the area of innovation are the foundation of the creation and development in Tomsk of one of the best innovation infrastructures in the country. Research in the area of radio engineering, nanoelectronics, information technologies, power electronics and innovations have internal unity and will be in demand in the near and distant future. These research areas lie at the foundation of TUSOR's program of development as a national research university of radio technology and nanoelectronics. In these areas, we have received the most significant research results. The infrastructure for the realization is developed. The steady growth of research and development work would have been impossible without the effective management of research activity at the university.
The day's achievement are the result of choosing the right strategy of development. At the university, all the necessary infrastructures have been created for engaging in research activity. New laboratories are being opened alongside centers, collective use, research and educational centers. Expensive equipment is being bought. The research division takes upon itself functions for coordination of research, patent protection and promoting inventions in the market. Special attention is given to the involvement of young researchers in the research. The system of student research work is actively developed. Events are organized which enable the discovery and support of promising young researchers. We are always open to dialogue and discussion. Everyone constantly comes to us with questions. Where can I go with my research results? Where can I publish them? What do I have to do for that? Is it possible to get financial support? We want to go to a conference. We want to speak here or there. And our Department of Postgraduate Professional Education provides all means of help, whether providing information, guidance or consultations. For the integration of postgraduate students into the research life of the university, there are special seminars. Research work is defended before one or four dissertation councils. Two to SOAR conferences are accredited by the Fund of Portnick. Annually, many projects are winners in the program UMNIC. In 2010, the university won two large grants for the development of cereal production jointly with industrial enterprises. This is a significant step in the development of research activity. We will annually carry out scientific research to the amount of 168 million rubles. Today's scientific achievements and great potential offered by the new generation of young researchers allow TUSOR to look confidently into the future.